I'm going to show you where to find the Swihander in Elden Ring. So it is this sword. It is a colossal great sword. 141 attack power and 100 crit. Uh, the stamp is upward cut with 5 FP cost. I think it was 15.5. has decent guard stats for a sword. Uh, it, you'll need 19 strength, 11 dex in order to use it. The attribute scaling is just so-so. Strength, dex, both D, it's, but it does scale off of both of them. This one is a colossal sword type. I don't know if they even have altered great sword in this game. I've yet to find one. They do. And you will find this way out here, the isolated merchant shack. Uh, I'll go over the map again towards the end of the video, but just a quick thing is you start right here in the game, cross the lake, follow the road, run down here, follow this road, go up here, run through these plains, get down here, isolated merchant shack. Uh, that's where you're going to want to go in order to get to it. That'll take you to this grace right here with that guy to my back right in this building. You'll know you're in the right spot when you see this shack uh, just by the beach. There'll be this shack by the beach, and there'll be that guy in it behind me. So let's go ahead and check out this sword. So we talk to this guy, and we're going to purchase, and he has for sale the Zweehander. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It is another colossal sword, and yeah, this is the signature weapon that a lot of people are after. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and buy it. We'll check it out. Have a safe journey. All right, there we go. One guy would not let me do anything. Okay, so we have the Zweehander, Zweihander. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna look like an idiot because I don't know how to say it. So that is what it looks like. And I'll check it out on some enemies. Let's check out the swing patterns real fast. So this is. This is the uh, quick swing. I'm going to do as fast as I can. It's a three hit, it looks like. Yep, three hit is all you get. Uh, heavy attacks are going to be a stab, which is not fun. Overhand. This is a single target killer only while you're target locked. If you're trying to just swing wildly, it's going to be hard to get it where you want it. Uh, and then the stamp is going to be... I have a sword on. Is that even... I, I have a torch. I'll put that away. Does that affect it? Yeah, you, you can have a second thing in your second hand. Now, it's going to look like it does nothing, right? But what you're supposed to do is you do it and then do a heavy. So do it, spam heavy. It's going to be the standard Colossal Greatsword uppercut. Okay. So let's go try it out on some of these zombie enemies out here. Let's start with the fun one, the Colossal, or the Stamp. That's fun. Okay. Uh, I had a feeling this guy was going to grab me when I saw that. All right, quick attacks. Oh, uh, that's a big reach on it. The quick attack's gonna be your AoE mob clear for sure. Thing's got some reach. Okay, the heavy attack I'm gonna wanna lock on because uh, the way it is, the hard way targeting is with it. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool sword. Let's go try it out on these guys. I wanna do a stamp and see if I can combo with a heavy attack afterwards. Uh, looks a little tough to get the heavy. You can kind of get them while they're getting up, but not exactly the easiest thing to do. Okay, also I want to see one last thing. Can I double attack with the heavy and then follow with a light? Not really. No, they don't really combo together very well. Okay, so that's the Zweehander's Wayhander. I don't know how to say though. I'm, I'm sorry. I do not know the actual terminology for this thing. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so this is where to get the Zweehander, Zweehander, whatever you call it. And uh, one more time, it is way down here. Isolated Merchant Shack. Uh, the start of the game is right here. You won't have the map, so I'm going to describe this as best I can. Uh, if you don't have any maps, you're going to follow this coast like at the start of the game. If you go south, there's a giant drop-off to your death. Well, instead, just follow that drop-off, and it'll lead you all through here. Here, there'll be some way to fly up to get up here. Meaning, just trying to get to this road. Uh, if you see the lake, you could just head through the lake until you get to this road. You just want to get to this road. Follow the road down here. When you get right here, the road will fork in two different ways. You'll head onto this path, and it'll take you across a bridge, up along this like ledge with a bunch of enemies, and you'll get to here, and it's trying to lead you up to this. Instead, you're just going to run off into the field over here, and that field will lead you down here, and at the very end of the road, or not really a road, it's just the end of a giant field, you'll see um, a shack by the, sh by the beach. That will be that shack right back there, the isolated merchant shack, and that's where the guy is where you can buy this sword for 3,500 runes.